it's Sunday guys so that you know what that means it is garden tour day but instead of touring my small space desert garden which is pretty hot and windy right now let's head out to the homestead hi everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Shamira Benson one part of team Benson and today I am gonna take you guys to our new 40 acre homestead this is the first time we have seen it since we purchased it so I'm gonna take you guys on the journey of how we plan to build a basically just a homestead in the desert in the Arizona desert for those of you guys that don't know I am a Jewish gardener here in zone 9b in Phoenix Arizona I've had my small space desert garden for years now years upon years for those of you guys that have been following me for a while but we just recently purchased 40 acres probably about two and a half hours north of Phoenix so that's going to be zone 9a and we haven't seen it since we agreed to buy it so now i want to take you guys so you guys can see it with us so guys this is going to be a journey so uh, i hope you guys enjoy the journey if you guys want to see how we build the homestead make sure you like subscribe and share and tell a friend all right enough talking let's get in the car okay guys so this is going to be our first trip out to the land since we purchased it so excited we haven't gone out there since we got like the deed and it's like ours so we are renting a truck because we don't have a truck and we do have cars that will get out there but our cars are older and we want to kind of save the miles on it so to find a truck that we like we decided to rent a truck every time we go out there because one it's cheaper and two before committing to a truck we can see which one that we like the best so the goal is going to be able to go out like every two weeks or at least once a month and get some things done but the first step is going to go out just run around now that we own it and start planning all right guys she's no longer for sale because it is all ours yes <laughs> from the road all the way up and on the other side that is right we have a little mountain all right guys so we are out here in the beautiful team benson homestead this is the beginning so as you can see there is a lot of brush <laughs> like a lot a lot of brush good thing is is that we'll be able to use a lot of this for like building and filling up garden beds and different things like that but there's gonna be a lot of clearing that we need and our house is gonna go up there right up there right up there on the mountain really cool so we have like some valley areas let me flip the camera around so up here is like a flatter area and then we go down here down here is kind of like a wash right here kind of like a creek um, we haven't gone down there yet mr. Benson is getting ready to clear some space so that we can fit our rental truck up here which Saran or the silver one did pretty good but yeah it's just this is pretty cool guys pretty pretty cool I am so excited and we have all the way up try not to fall we have all the way over to here too and then the main road is over here so this is the road we came down so all of this all of it all of it all of it and on the other side of that mountain so we're gonna start clearing some stuff and seeing if we can give ourselves a little space at least to give ourselves a start okay guys we are back to the land of the city <laughs> so i just wanted to give you guys a view of the land it is raw land there is no water no power um i didn't film when i got to the top of the mountain because that was the first time me and mr benson actually went up there like when we bought it it was really hot <laughs> and we were like this looks perfect but we didn't actually go up to the top so it was just a huge experience just going up and just kind of both of us have been working so hard for this and it's something that we wanted our parents to be able to see too and unfortunately our parents aren't here anymore um so it was just it was really it was like a whole moment for the both of us because we were proud of ourselves we were kind of sad but then we were also just 
proud of ourselves that and we're proud of each other that we work together to be able to accomplish this so and once we got to the top we also were able to see some of our neighbors <laughs> so each one of those areas are anywhere between like 40 acres to 100 acres but once you get to the top of the mountain you can see everybody's little like little paddock type situation so we do have some neighbors we knew that we had one and then we well we knew that we had three like coming up the road and then one that is like across from us like across the road that one we saw that neighbor and then our friends bought the one that's right directly next to us so they'll be living the one that's like right next to us and then we can see the ones that are across on the different mountain ranges so hopefully we'll make more friends when we go out there we did make a couple so that was nice <laughs> and kind of like met some of the locals and people to kind of tell us around tell us like where to go and all these different things so all those things are really nice and we're pretty excited about it so I am going to give you guys this journey from a woman's perspective. One for two reasons. One, Mr. Benson hates being on camera. I still try and get him to do like certain like little videos that he knows because he builds stuff. He's the one that's going to be building our house. He's um, clearing the land. He's doing all of the stuff um, with some help of like some of like our friends and like some construction crews that we know. But for the majority, he's going to be doing everything. So I will try and give like an update on what he's doing. But all the gardens, where that's going, that's all decided by me. And I'm pretty excited about that. And I will be building most of that to myself. But then also I want to give you the woman's perspective that is the wife of how you go about finding certain things. Because in our family, I'm the one that finds what we're gonna do, who the people we're gonna work with, all of those different things, um, permits, all those, all those things come from me. So I am going to give you guys my advice on how to go about doing these different things. So I will start by doing a video on like just finding land in general. Um, I'm gonna do journey videos probably like once a week or once every two weeks. We will be going out to the land pretty much every two weeks. Um, it's a little hot right now, so we went out to later in the day and that was nice. Once we got to the evening when the sun was setting, like probably about like I would say four or five o'clock guys, it was so beautiful. Like 76 degrees at the top of the mountain. The top of the mountain doesn't have the bushes, it actually has trees. So it was just up there and it was nice and it was breezy and I kind of just wanted to pitch a tent and have us stay there forever. but. We didn't have reception to tell our friends that we weren't lost <laughs> so we came back but i can't wait to show you guys more of the journey i also need help picking a truck and getting all the different types because we do have a jeep and we also have a suv that the jeep will make it up the mountain no problem and the suv let it it made it up before when we first bought it bought the land but it doesn't like it but our cars have a lot of miles on them so they're not something that we want to continue putting a bunch of miles on just going back and forth while we get everything together so we do want to buy a jeep that or, or buy a truck that will be able to haul things and all those things so if you guys have any advice on trucks make sure you guys comment down below what those tips are so that then you can help us pick one and then i'm going to be doing a review every time we rent one because our goal is to rent a different one see how it handles the mountain, see how it does, see how it does on gas, all these different things. And then, yeah, then we can find one after that because that's a lot of money for a car. So let's go outside and I'm gonna show you guys the Jeep. Okay guys, so this is the Silverado Custom. And as you can see, she's kind of huge. She's pretty big. Now she does not have really great tires on her. Um, they're just regular like rental tires. So we'll talk about that in a little bit, but it's easy to get into. Let's open this. And then let me actually go to the drivers and I'll show you around. Okay, so I think, well, Mr. Benson said that this is easier to drive for women because of how small the pedal is. Mr. Benson's feet are like a size like 13 or 14. So it's hard for him, to, it was harder for him to drive it. I didn't like the how far the gas pedal is from the brake pedal. So that was a thing. But other than that, it's very comfortable to drive and my turbine doesn't hit the top, which is always something that happens with cars. Now the back seat is really, really spacious. Like you can fit everything in here and it makes it comfortable for our future children so that then as they grow, then their feet aren't like, you know, crammed in. 
So this is our first truck that we rented. Um, it has a nice size bed on it too. It's a little bit more quiet, but it does have like a push start and it has like backup camera, all that kind of stuff. And then it also has like ports for charging. So this is nice. It has all different types of ports that we can charge different things in and it is four wheel drive. So it took the mountain really, really good. All right, let's go inside and talk about our likes and dislikes for how we were driving it and what we thought of it and then you guys can give us your opinion in the comments so guys one thing I don't want to forget to mention is that it gets 15.9 miles to the gallon um, and on a tank of gas just one tank of gas we can get from our house in the city to our land and back on one tank of gas so the Silverado is really nice <laughs> some of the things we loved about it was the fact that it was super, super roomy. Another thing is that we live off of a dirt road, so you couldn't really feel the road. It didn't lose traction that many times, and we only put it in two-wheel drive, because we. so that made us realize that four-wheel drive would go even better, but we only drove it in two-wheel drive going up there just to see how it would do. And it did really, really great. Um, some of the drawbacks is that it's the size of a small yacht. <laughs> So, so now that is, it, it's, a, it's a, a pro and a con. The pro is that it is really, really roomy. You could fit like your whole life in that thing. But like the con is that it's the size of a yacht. <laughs> so it fills and drives like a yacht. So that's the only like con. And I think the pedal thing. But other than that, guys, I think that the Silverado has a good chance with us. Now, if we had better tires on it, like our tires on our Jeep, then I think that it would take the mountain even better to where we wouldn't feel so much bumpiness in the road. But it still was able to get up the mountain and up the dirt road without losing traction. I think we lost traction maybe like three or four times, so which isn't bad because that is a long drive up dirt road. It's a long drive. Guys, that's the land. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys the land and kind of tell you guys starting off this journey because I want to record it I want to know like I want to be able to look back on it and see kind of like where we started and where we are going to end um, Also up there. There are deers. We had some deers on our land We had a couple deer dens that were on our land um, and tons of deer poop everywhere <laughs> um, That was pretty much the only animal we saw note. We saw some some um, Rabbits and then a couple of our neighbors had some cows that were roaming Although they weren't on our, our land because they were more um, mountainous. So they were kind of on the flat part, but we still saw them while we were driving up there. So it's gonna be a lot of clearing because as you guys saw, there is brush on every piece of our land. Like every single acre inch of the land is covered in brush, but that's gonna give us something that we can work with. Um, I'm gonna do the Hugo, Hugel method, Hugel method for my garden beds. And I'm thinking that I'm gonna put the main garden at the top of the mountain with the house. Um, I wanna do uh, like some bigger gardens that are gonna be like wheat and corn and different things like that, that we can grow our own animal feed. Now the point of us having our homestead is not going to be to have like a farm that like feeds everybody. It's gonna be something that's gonna create general Gen or generational wealth for us. So being something that we, when we have kids and also our goddaughter can be able to have a little space. So everybody can have like an acre where they have a little space and they're able to put like a little garden for what they want to do. Um, one of our, what we call her, we call her our Jewish mom. <laughs> she is going to have a little space on there too. And um, she does a lot of like herbal stuff and herbal medicine, herbal skincare. So we wanna be able to give her a space to be able to grow any of the herbs that she wants um, to be able to do that. Also we have, since that there's that little creek area, I wanna plant a lot of trees. I wanna plant a lot of trees and I wanna plant a lot of herbs. So all of the herbs that I have been wanting to grow in my little medicinal bed and my small space garden is going on that land. I wanna just create like a permaculture forest is the goal. So the, but for, 
the first part of that is clearing out all of the brush which is going to probably take a little bit of time and some manpower so that's what we're going to start with we're going to clear out um, we're having a company come up and give us the initial clearing of just like a little space to where we can build a little house so that then we have shelter when we go out there because although it was fun and lovely it kind of sucked <laughs> when we had nowhere to go like inside you know to be able to do that we also got like a solar little solar panel system situation but we do plan on running power and digging a well too so all of this will be an adventure i hope that you guys stick around make sure you like subscribe and share and follow us on our adventure and help me pick a good truck if you guys have any good ideas i like to buy used trucks so i will be finding one off of probably offer up <laughs> so or our facebook marketplace but let me know the, the type the type i should get We've never owned a truck before. No, I take that back. I've had a Dodge Ram before, but that's about it. All right, guys, until next time, grow yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food. I think I might need to change that ending coming up here pretty soon. <laughs>